Why should they tell us how powerful our hair dryers are? Coming up next week at the Strasbourg Plenary. The Brexit, a new presidency and counter-terrorism. Welcome to the agenda. The UK's decision to leave the European Union has seen it lose a Prime Minister and sparked a leadership crisis in the opposition Labour Party. But what now for Europe post-Brexit? A two-day European Council brought the outgoing Prime Minister David Cameron face-to-face -face with EU leaders in Brussels to discuss the implications of the referendum result. The UK government is still to trigger Article 50 and despite the fact that he will not be a part of future negotiations, Cameron has urged for constructive talks on Britain's withdrawal. EU leaders have made it clear that going forward, the UK must accept principles of freedom if it wants access to the single market. MEPs will discuss the outcome of the summit on Tuesday morning. The fallout from the Brexit will be wide-ranging. One immediate example, the resignation of the EU Commissioner for Financial Services, Lord Hill. Now the race is on to find his replacement. The extraordinary plenary session convened in the wake of the UK referendum. The President of the Parliament paid tribute to the outgoing Commissioner and MPs gave Lord Hill a standing ovation. But time now to move on. A meeting will take place at the Economic and Monetary Affairs Committee with Commissioner Dombrovskis following the reallocation of Commissioner portfolios. On July the 1st, it's doi doi to the Netherlands and ahoy to Slovakia as they take over the rotating council presidency of the EU. At the plenary on Tuesday, MEPs at Council and Commission review the outgoing Dutch presidency. Their priorities included migration and controlling borders, jobs and growth. And on Wednesday, the Slovak presidency will present their priorities for the months ahead. And now for the news in brief. Representatives of the Commission will present the priorities for 2017 on Wednesday. Wednesday sees MEPs vote on the mandate for negotiations with the EU Council on plans to improve and simplify energy efficiency labelling on household electrical items such as dishwashers and fridges. Should long-term spending plans be adjusted to account for migration and terrorism? MEPs discuss changes to the multi-annual financial framework for 2014-2020 on Tuesday and vote on Wednesday. And finally, a European Coast Guard and Border Management system is set to get green-lighted at the plenary. Under the regulation, there will be 1,500 strong rapid reserve pool deployable within days with the ability to intervene if the Schengen area is under threat. The hope is that this new tool could also protect against the threat of terrorism. The Parliament and Council have already struck a provisional deal. The final vote to confirm that takes place on Wednesday. And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.